So in this video, now we are going to start at basics of funnels. So now first thing, I have one URL. So if I go ahead and try to open that URL. So this is that URL where we have that data is there. Now we will try to import that URL. The first thing, last time as we did, now first we need to import that Pandas library. So import ED. So now it's importing. Meanwhile, I will put that URL link. Now successfully become one. So it successfully imported at Pandas library. Now I copy that URL at one place. So first I will load that URL. Now we'll try to load that data frame and I will store in DF one variable. So pd dot read CSV read CSV function is there where we can use that to load that. There are different functions that we need to use that for loading CSV importing data from uh, again Excel or any other way that we will learn one by one. But now I am going to import it uh, from URL. So that is CSV file. So if we go ahead and see here, now that is CSV file. So now we'll try to load that CSV file and we'll see how it's going to run, how it's going to look. So now we'll run that and now we'll try to print that DF. So I did that mistake now. So still that first one is loading that the star is displaying that is now it's loaded. Now I print that DF. So it's going to display all those whatever we have that with comma separated and now it's not displaying in a tablet form. If you put that in pd.read csv, so now it's displaying in a very good format where we can go ahead and see that how it's looking it's with that index column name and there are all those value with that different color with their separation. So we can easily go ahead and see that and understand it. And also we'll see that here it's showing how many rows and how many columns we have. So we can find it out from here, how many rows and columns we have as well. So now first thing, if we try to find that type, type of DA, then we can see, so now you see, it's saying that pandas code frame and data frame. So it's pandas data frame type. And suppose now if I try to put that length, whatever we learned previously, now if I try to print, now you can see 126314. So now we are getting from here now, 126314 number of rows. So we got it from here. If you print all those well, but generally we not do that printing df so that i will explain how what i will be going to use now we can use that length to get that uh, exact count or else we can use that df dot save okay. use the of save then we'll get that how many number of rows and then column whatever we are getting here that we can get it from here number of rows and column okay so now other thing is that now generally what we can do if we print that to see that. So now here we see that it's going to load all of those record and this many records are this many rows are there. So it's going to take some time to print it out. But to understand that now there is one function called head. If you put that data frame dot head of five so it's going to display us top five rows whatever is there in our data frame so we'll get from there and we can look into those things what all are there and we can analyze it so now we can easily go ahead and see that all those column names and all those other values so now other things now we got that all those from uh, top now if someone asks how we can get that that last five rows. So for this one, we have one other function that called tell. And if we could put that five, so we we'll get that last five rows. And you can see that here index. 
their index start with 0 1 2 3 4 so we got that first five here index start with that last five rows so you can see that 13 then 12 then 11 then 0 so how we will get to know this is last or not then if we go ahead and see it here now this is that 1 2 so 1 2 6 3 1 3 so it's 1 3 why that region by that it's going to start with 0 that's why shape or number of rows are coming one more that whatever we have in that index because index is starting with that 0 So in this way, we can now get that top or bottom that rows how many we wanted to display. So now other thing is that now if we put a df dot info and if we try to run that, so now in this one what we going to get first thing that entries how many are there and is putting that range index. So total is this much and range index is start with. Zero and it goes to one two six three one three. Okay, and now we can see that all of so total twenty three columns are there. That also we get to know if we put that df dot info. And other thing now we going to get that all those column name with their data type what are there and how many non uh, null column is there. Okay, so now we can see. It displaying all of them only for nodes we have lot of uh, column that had null value. Also, if we go and see that this is integer type, this is object type. So object is nothing but it's going to store that a string type. We can store like this one. So now integer we have we have float. So we can get that and now memory usage also we can get it how many memory is utilizing it. Here if you can see now. Float sixty four seven in this month and object ten. So it's giving us count also of data type D type that how which all column have which all type and their count respective. So those things we are getting in more details. Then we can understand all those things. So now other value. Now question came. Now only if we need to print that columns. How many columns are there? So for this one now we have one more different function that df dot columns. Then it's going to display all those columns name whatever we have and now their type it displaying that object. But you can see all those column names are coming in here. So similarly, if someone asks only they need that indexes. So now we got that index also that it's going to start with zero. And the stop and the step. What is that step? Step means all index are increment by one, not more than that. So we later will try to understand that what is that if we can change that index and then how it's going to display. Those things we will understand that later and then we'll try to know if we try to print that how it's going to display there. Okay. So I hope till here you are uh, good. If you have any question, please let me know. Then we'll go ahead from here, and then we'll try to learn more. Thank you.